going on? 5x5 five five, Mars Pro Series, Super Pro. Yeah, I guess that means you're good at it. Still no filter. <laughs> I don't think I'll put one on there. Makes the neighborhood smell better. Like that. She's starting to fill it in. This is the Kim Dog Sour D. Badass plant right here. This girl right here is wanted by many. Uh, and she's a monster. Slowly filling his net up. Pretty close. Yep. She be. She's doing good. It's the 5x5. Five this will be the shortest video of them all. Why? Because she's in bed still. Waiting for it to grow out. My next one I'm watching right here is this one. I'm going to be moving it over to another square here soon. This one here. We'll be moving to the next one. So on and so on. We got a little gap right there. What we're going to do is there's one hanging down there. We're going to bring it up. And we may bring one of these over. Okay. So what we'll do. We got these ones here, but we'll either dip back into another one. Um, we see out right now, and I'm just getting long enough. What we're gonna do is throw it over that way. And that's how we roll it. So right now, temperature's not too bad. Here it is there, 76 and a half, 31 percent. A little low for bitch, but I don't think the plant is bitching about it. The reason why I let it drop so low is because I know the plant's not going to bitch about it. This one is also a hybrid, obviously. But, if you look at the leaves, it's showing more of an indica trait. And a lot of mines that are this way aren't as picky with the humidity. I found a lot of my sativas are dominant. So they're a little bit more on the picky side. But this one just doesn't care. It just grows. Nice and happy. That's the Mars Pro series. Waiting on the Crees to come. These are the Epistar Pro series. So as soon as the Cree gets in, we'll be playing with that one too. Got it on order. Just waiting for it to show up. Everything's all good. Appreciate you all stopping by. It's Colorado's finest Mars Pro series in the 5x5.